out of range. Uh, are you serious? So this should be obvious how to take out uh, the Sin Spawn. You attack the arms first. Um, obviously you hit the head with uh, people that can hit the head. Like, uh, you want to take out the head first actually. I lied. Want to have at least two level two spells. Haste on Lulu. The head is moving suspicious. Once you kill the head, it's pretty easy. The head stops moving. If you attack the head directly in the middle, it um, blocks it with the arms. We all know that. You're like, crap. So just attack that. Overkilled the head. Now the head won't cast venom on you. Killed. The arms do spawn. I know people have trouble with that. Uh, don't worry about it. Um, I think it's after like three turns. As long as you get the head, you kill it, you'll be fine. So bring in your heavy hitters, for example. Oron's one of them. Yeah, boy. I'll bring myself in here. Save your Aeons, your Overdrive Aeons for, um, the round two. So when you fight it a second time. Cause you will thank me later, you'll be like, oh, okay. Easier. Then the arms regenerate about three three turns. So we'll go we have a mega potion. Magic will go right through. It can't protect that against that. It's just physical attacks that it can stop the arms. Do 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 do. Get wrecked. It's kind of a long fight, um, but you shouldn't have any problem as long as you follow those guidelines. See what happens. You're like, ah, the arm blocked me. Yeah. 
You don't really need to have a healer too. I mean, he needs potions. You could swap Yuna out if you needed to, but as you can see, I haven't had too much difficulty with it. Uh, we'll do sword play, spiral cut. <laughs> Bull. <laughs> And that's how you defeat the Sin Spawn, the first part. Um, as you know, it comes back. So, that part's easy. Just make sure you have a tier 2 spell and save your overdrives for the second time you fight it. Oh, it's tentacle porn. Poor Lucy. It's about to get wrecked. No. He just stands there. <laughs> this is Gigas, I believe. Boom, vaporized. Sad face. And that was fast. Like, how, how is he able to hold that back? Alright, this is part two of the fight. He just nonchalantly walks up. Now you can use your Aeons. Because the only people in this battle will be these three. Stand back, Lady Yuna. Yes. Head's dead. I'm not gonna ground summon. I'm gonna save my grand summon. So overdrive Valfor does quite a bit of damage. It'll kill the arms too, but that's not what we're going for. So right there, you got 3,132 damage right off the bat. Um, it's gonna knock Valfurid out. Um, unfortunately, it is faster. The arms will respawn, but the, that's not the goal. The goal right here was to take out um, a large chunk of its health. So we'll just go dismiss. It's not going to let you uh, overdrive it a second time. And I'm saying save the overdrive because it's not worth doing that. Like the, um, yeah, see how much left on its AP. Like, it's not worth losing your, uh, your grand summon for that. 
and then boom, just like that. Once Ifrit hits, it's toast, and that's how you beat the, the second um, boss, or part of the form. So if you find this any helpful at all, I hope it does help those for it. I know this game's not been out, been out for a while, but people like to replay games, they forget. Um, yeah. It's the final attack. It should take off another 3,000 and kill it. And I overkilled it. See how simple that was? Super easy. Well, that's how you beat uh, the second form, and that's all you need um, to follow through. And uh, this is Raven's Bloodlust, AK Ravens. I hope this guide helped you out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 